retreat, most of the areas and most of the MLSs in Northern California have opted to participate in the Realtors Property Resource. What the Realtors Property Resource is, it is a database for every piece of real property in North America. The Realtors Property Resource, the website that you'll need to know for this one is N-A-R-R-P-R.com. N-A-R-R-P-R.com. That's National Association of Realtors. It is a free tool that's been designed for you as agents to give you the best possible information on property. So what does RPR do, first of all? It's going to give you an electronic pricing in a similar style to an AVM, an automated valuation model, like that one that every one of your sellers has printed out in front of them every time you go on a listing appointment. What's that document? Zillow's estimate. So it's very similar to that. The big difference between what RPR does and what Zillow does, or any of the other ABMs like Trulia, Cyber Homes, or Appraisal, is that RPR is the only system that has access and uses MLS information to influence its value. So it's the only system that uses current MLS data to influence the value. Did you say that was RPR.com or NARRPR.com? NARRPR.com. You'll need to verify that your MLS is participating in it, and if they're not, then ask them to, because this is one of those great programs I think every agent should have access to. What I'm going to show you today is a way that with this system you can actually generate leads. When you're in the RPR system and you've logged in, you have the ability to search for properties by their individual property address, and I'll show you some of those details when we get into this, but you can also search for properties by the city itself. I chose Modesto just because it was far away. And what I recommend is that we take a look at the list view when we're doing a lead search in the system. When we're looking for leads, the list view comes up and you'll see a whole list of different properties that match our criteria. You can customize the search fields a little bit here in RPR by selecting the target city. I recommend that you pull out the distressed properties because if you're trying to farm for distressed properties, those people don't tend to answer their phone, they don't look at mail, they don't do anything. But if you want to target distressed, RPR does have that public record data, and you can see what the distressed homes are in the neighborhood. You can set your floor price, which is the way I like to recommend setting your pricing. What's the lowest possible property that you want to take as a listing? Click apply, and then it sorts the data. When you get the list, you click on the blue link that has the property address. And what's really cool about the data that RPR shows is it's going to give you information about when the property last sold and for how much. In addition to that, it's got a valuation already tagged to the property right up above. How much is it? Free. Once your MLS participates. So it gives you a value and you can see this information. The next tab I like to go to is I go to the history tab, which gives me all the data that I would normally get from getting my uh, property profile report from my title company. I get to see the history of what the value's done over time over the last seven years. But what I'm looking at from a lead generation standpoint is I'm looking for the prior sales history. Because from here, again, I can check out the sales price. I can see what the loan amount was at the time they bought the property. This was done in 2004, they had a loan amount of $310,000. Anybody remember what the price was for this? Yeah, it was 250. dollars So, it's a pretty good chance they're still upside down on this house. I can also then take a look at how much they're being assessed from taxes, all coming from county tax revenue. That tax 
assessment, they're being assessed at $335,000 for a property that's worth how much? A great lead opportunity that's a soft sales pitch to get you in the door is to approach these clients by sending them the form from your county for reducing their taxes. If you download the form from your county and send that to these, non, to these owners that are not behind yet about reducing their taxes, you can also send a letter that says that they need to have a professional report done for the valuation of their home or a BPO or you can print up the RPR report. That way now you have the opportunity to meet the client, view the house, give them a report so now they can submit to lower their tax base that they're paying to the county. A great way to get your foot in the door to start that conversation. You can see who's on title. Again, you can check the other loans. Uh, just as with any public record, the loan information is not always right. It's going to be as accurate as the public data record is there. And again, if there's a notice of default or a notice of trustee sale, uh, you'll see some references to them there. And that's creating some leads with RPR. Just want to give you guys a couple of quick things because the digital signature goes back. So, thank you. Um, I'm Nate Ellis. Uh, yes? Just a quick question. Uh, RPR, uh, have you found it to be more accurate than in Zillow and Cyber Homes and the others? So from a valuation standpoint, um, what you need to know about RPR's values is that LPS, the loan processing system, the largest servicer of mortgages in the country, says that RPR's variance when it gives us an R, a realtor's valuation model, the RBM number, is within their margin of error, and that those values can be used in BPOs as the actual comp. So what that means, don't quote me on it, but I think it's about plus or minus 10%. Uh, we had just checked one that was on a million dollar plus property that had just gone pending, and the RPR value that was auto-generated by the system was within about $44,000 of the sales price. So it was right in that mix. Which is a lot better than Zillow and down all the rest, so. Zillow's variances, I usually see those about plus or minus 15 in the same neighborhood. No so if not more, they've gotten a lot tighter. The main thing about RPR though is how many people are experiencing the market's gotten kind of hot here recently? So Zillow's numbers, and they tell you how bad their information is on the front page, on the About Zestimate button at the very bottom. I highly recommend that you click on that later and take a peek at it. But they tell you how bad the info is. But when you go and you compare it to the RPR report, Zillow's information is being pulled. They lasted their update on February 29th using the, year, the three months from the year end back. What's today's date? Yeah, okay. <laughs> RPR is going to pull data directly from MLS to influence its time. So thank you guys. Uh, if you didn't get a flyer, there's some in the back, some in the front. And if you would, please remember to complete your, your evaluation form. Did anybody not get an evaluation form? I'll take those before you go, if you don't mind. Thank you. Let's go find them. Yes. Gang up.